Hey folks, welcome back to KKR Renewables Metal Recovery Channel. Big shout out to all of our miners and refiners out there making the metals we use every day. Our channel focuses on the recovery of those metals, making sure they get back into the production stream and don't wind up in our landfills. If you like what we do here, please help support the channel and smash that like button, then subscribe and share our videos. Well, that's enough of the intro, so let's stop talking and get on that road to recovery. Here's another one of my eBay orders. I ordered this from eBay about a month ago. It took about a month to get here. This is three pounds of old hard drive boards for gold recovery. That's how it was advertised, old hard drive boards. So let's see if they're old and let's see what we got. Before I cut it open, <clears throat> the box is pretty, torn up. It was not protected in shipping. Looks like maybe somebody kicked it down the street. You can see the, the hard drive boards. I'm sure there's some components that could have broken off the boards and fallen out the sides there. Let's see what we have here. Well, they were neatly stacked in here. These are definitely older hard drive boards. Nice four-sided flat packs, two-sided ICs. These are flat packs also. I wanted to adjust the camera a little bit to have a better angle on the, the hard drive boards laid out some paper towels so I don't mar my, my table up any more than I already have. Let's see what we have in here. We have some four-sided flat packs, two-sided ICs, thicker flat packs, tantalum capacitors. There's some really nice gold connectors here. We've got gold pins in this as well and gold pins here. I don't know if this is silver around the contact points on these circuit boards. If anybody does know, please let me know. I'd be interested in knowing. Here on this particular board, we have more flat packs, smaller flat pack, two side ICs, more pins, more gold pins here. MLCCs, some nice sized MLCCs. If these are older, they have a potential of containing platinum. So we'll go ahead and do a, a magnet test on them later. Here's another board. It's the exact same one that we have here. And another one. These are really nicely organized. Um, A lot of the same style boards, black tantalum capacitors. I know they have silver in them, more flat packs, more MLCCs. These resistors, as I understand, have silver and potentially ruthenium in them. Here we have crystal oscillator, more flat packs. These are the thicker flat packs. So by weight, you're not going to get the same gold recovery out of these as you would the thinner flat packs, but there's still the same number of gold wires in them. Gold bond wires. Anybody know what this is? I do not. It's got gold fingers, which is interesting. It was in here with the old hard drives, but I don't know what this is larger resistors. All right. Here we have another of this style. We have MLCCs, smaller tantalum capacitors, another inductor, two-sided and four-sided flat packs. Let's just get all these identified. 
I don't know if there's any significance to the color of the connector. Somebody let me know if, if there is. I'll start paying attention to that more. There's a larger tantalum, no good number of flat packs. Wow, lots of these and well sorted. I appreciate the sender of these. Here's a little different style. Here we have flat packs. There's a good number of MLCCs on this one. Here we have more flat packs, more MLCCs. There is silver. I don't know what sort of a surface mounted device this is, but there's silver in there. Oh wow, here we have a gold rim crystal oscillator. Those are great. And another crystal oscillator, there's silver in this one. There's silver and gold in this one. Here we have flat packs. These are the larger, thicker flat packs. These are all thin flat packs. Nice big MLCC right there. Oh, wow, okay, good. Here's our first BGA, black tantalum capacitors, MLCCs, flat packs. Great, another one of these. Another BGA. These are not your North Bridge BGAs, but BGAs are still good for gold recovery. Tantalum capacitors, some transistors, regulators. Here's another one, another BGA. Here's a full size board, crystal oscillators, thick four sided flat packs, black and yellow tantalum capacitors. Here's another one of the sides with BGAs on them. Another crystal, gold crystal oscillator. That's fantastic. Put that there. Looks like here's another one. Yep, here's another one. Here's the gold band crystal oscillator. And another one. Flat packs. And another one. Wow, how many of these am I gonna have? Oh, sure, I'd say that and that's it. Okay, more BGAs. More BGAs. Kudos to the folks who packed this up from whence it came. Wow, look at this one. Lots of tantalum capacitors, black and yellow. Nice flat packs, resistor. This one has fully plated gold pins on it. I don't really know, I didn't pay attention to most of the other ones, but I think they do not, but this one does. There's actually a surface mount resistor, an old school banded resistor. How about that? Don't see that very often. Usually their, their pin, their, their, their leg through or lead through, but this one's not. It's just a regular round surface mount resistor. More flat packs. More flat packs. Crystal oscillator. And that is it. There's the whole group. Okay, so let's get these weighed up. The shipper said that they had shipped three pounds of old hard drive boards. They've definitely shipped old hard drive boards or older hard drive boards. They've all got the pin style IDE connectors. There are no connectors that have any of the, the thinner flat connections. There's no SATA drive connectors here. 
everything seems a bit older, so they lived up to that point. So let's get these weighed up and see what we have. All right, we've got these sorted. We've identified them as old hard drive boards. The shipper did a great job uh, organizing them and sorting them. They certainly are older hard drive boards. We have a really nice mix of flat packs, both thin and thick flat packs. Flat packs are defined as surface mount IC chips that do not penetrate through the, the circuit board. Uh, it sounds a little redundant, surface mount and not penetrating through, but that's what it means. It means surface mount, so there's no lead, there's no leg that, that penetrates the circuit board, and they are IC chips. There are thin ones, there are thicker ones. You see here, the these are the thin kind on this Western Digital right here. They're very, very thin. On the older hard drive boards, they're very thick. <clears throat> they both have pretty much the same amount of gold in them. The bond wires in these older chips might be a little longer, but they're all 24 karat gold and they're all microscopic in length. You need a whole lot of them to get some gold out of these. So let's get these weighed and make sure that we have the three pounds of old hard drive boards. I'm gonna get these out of the way. Here's my scale. I got this scale years ago and one of my commenters in one of the comments in a previous video is that this scale is horribly inaccurate. I haven't found it to be true on this particular scale. When I put my silver bullion on it that I ordered from a bullion dealer, it comes in right at 31.1 grams. A troy ounce is 31.1 grams. So when I weigh it on here in gram mode, it comes out to be correct. So I'm going to go with this being an accurate scale. Let's put this down here. Let's get our, our pan and tear this out. Here we go. Let's see, let's see what we got. So far, we're at one pound, two ounces. Here we have one pound, 12 ounces. Let's get these boards on there. Two pounds, 6.8 ounces. two pounds, 15.8 ounces. And whatever this is, it's not a hard drive board, I don't think. If you know what it is, please let me know. But hey, it's got a flat pack or two on it. It's got gold fingers, got an IC chip. I'll take it. Three pounds, point nine ounces. All right, great job to the eBay shipper. Uh, we got what we ordered. So now that we know that we've got what we ordered, the big question is, is it worth it? Is it worth ordering these sorts of things off of eBay? What I can tell you is sometimes it is and sometimes it's not. It depends on how much you're willing to pay for the, the e-waste and whether you get a good deal or not. I've ordered things off of eBay before that are obviously overpriced. I've ordered some things off of eBay that I've gotten a lot more gold out of than I expected to. So it's kind of, you know, weighed itself out there. Sometimes you win, sometimes you lose. But what I can say is you got to come up with a price that you're willing to pay for e-waste. And you have to agree with yourself to say, all right, well, I didn't have to spend the time storing it. I didn't have to spend the time depopulating it myself, taking it out of, out of equipment. I didn't have to go through the heartbreak of tearing apart older equipment that you know is you know still usable but nobody wants anymore. It's always a decision that you have to make whether or not you wanna tear those down or not. Is it worth it to you? Maybe, it depends on what you get out of it. So what do I need to get out of this to break even? I paid $28 for this with $12 shipping. 
So I paid $40 even for this pile of old hard drive boards, three pounds of old hard drive boards. So if I get $40 out, I will get my money back minus the acids that are consumed and my time. So what is that worth? Well, probably a couple bucks worth of hydrochloric acid, maybe a couple bucks worth of nitric acid because nitric acid is more expensive. I only ever use nitric acid in the final stage when I am dissolving my gold. I don't use nitric acid ahead of time because I don't want to spend the excess money and it's difficult for me to get nitric acid. So what do I need to get out? $40. Um, we're going to do gold recovery. I'm not really going after silver. I'm not going after anything else on these particular boards because there's pretty much only gold and silver and a small amount of platinum, small amount of ruthenium. I don't know how to extract the, the platinum or the ruthenium yet, so I'll save, the, I'll save those resistors that have those two metals in them. I'll save the tantalum capacitors. I don't know how to get the tantalum out yet, but I'll save those for one day for when I do. So I'm just going for gold recovery. Having said that, how much is it worth? How much do I need to break even? Let's say a couple bucks worth of acid, hydrochloric acid, a couple bucks worth of nitric acid. Let's round it up to $5. My time, hey, this is a hobby. I'm having a good time doing it. So my time is my time. So I'm going to say $45 to break even. Alexa. What's the spot price for gold today? As of June 1st, 2023, gold traded at 2,000 US dollars per troy ounce on the foreign exchange, down 0.07% since previous close. All right, so here we're gonna do some quick math. $2,000 for a troy ounce. Remember, we said earlier, a troy ounce is 31.1 grams. That is a troy ounce, not in standard English ounce. So a troy ounce is 31.1. So we're gonna take 2000 divided by 31.1, $64 per gram, $64.31 rounding up per gram. So in order to break even, we take $45 divided by $64.31. And that comes up with 0.699 grams that we have to recover. So a little less than three quarters of a gram, a little more than half a gram to break even. Can we do that? Can we get 0.69 grams of gold out of these old hard drives? Probably not, but we'll see. So be sure and like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you are notified the next time I post the update video to this series and we depopulate these old hard drive boards. Thanks for watching.